Welcome back to the UTEP Dynasty. In this episode, we are going to be going to College Station to take on number 6, Texas A&M. Oh boy. Somehow, Texas State has taken the lead for Kevin Malone. They got plus 955. So even after beating Rice, Rice goes down, we go down, and Texas State goes up. Nothing else has really changed for our other prospects like Andrew Wesley, Adam Wilson, and Pierre Prince. We are still behind on Pierre Prince, but hey, maybe we can get him. In the last episode, we took on Rice, got the win, makes us 2-5 and five on the season, got two upgrades for our offensive and defense coordinator going into this big game against number 6 Texas A&M. I hope you guys didn't get used to winning because I don't know if we're going to do this one. Oh, shaking needle, how I have not missed you. If you look at our teams, they are a lot better than us in just about everything. And by just about, I mean in everything. Um, their defense is really good against a run and really bad against a pass. So it looks like... Hardison's going to have to try to have his day. Oh man, they have a 91 overall running back. This is not going to be good. College Station. Oh man, playing against SEC teams is not a good idea. I forgot that we scheduled this one so late. Let's see if we can beat our other Texas rival. Are they doing the hokey pokey? Look at the puppy, how cute. Oh boy, they have tons of fans and I don't think we have any here, so this isn't going to be quite fun. Hey, get off the field. I'm scared. Tails never fails. Oh. Uh-oh. X is open. If we can get it over it. Oh, what a... Oh. I thought Cooper grabbed it, but nope. He dropped it. Where did Cal... Did Calvin get hurt on the kickoff? Oh, we got Garrett. And no, we don't. It's a pick. This game is not starting off good. Oh boy. Their first drive starts at the 10. This is not going to end well. Oh, what a hit by Trotter. For a 91 overall, he's not doing so good so far. Why did I say that? Oh, he's going to run. Come on, Knight. Get him. Good tackle, Knight. You sacked him for one yard. And it's going to force a 4th and 7. After our offense gives up an interception, we're going to hold them to a field goal. Alright, that was the best possible outcome after we turn the ball over and they start in the... Oh, we got a good hold. Oh, but Hardison takes a nasty hit. Alright, let's run it with Hankins again. Oh, this is not a good idea. Running is not a good idea. Is he doing an army crawl? Boy! Oh my gosh, why can't he ever throw it over the linebackers? If you throw it over the linebackers, it's an easy completion for a first down, but nope, you just throw it right to them, and this is already going to be an awful game. Oh, Knight gets in the backfield, but he just trucks off three of our people. I am so sick of people not being able to tackle, man. Oh, they didn't run it this time. Oh my gosh, guys, tackle. Oh, I forgot how bad it was to play teams that are so much better than us. ATM. All right, Hardison, take off. Get that block. Good block. 15-yard run. That was good. That was good. Keep your head up, Hardison. Is wide open. Thompson gets it. Keeps his feet in bounds. 17 yards. Get it to Cowing. Cowing grabbed and then got smoked. Man, he got injured already once. Let's hope he doesn't get injured again. Hankins gets a good hole. Good run for Hankins. Hey, he's wide open, but I can't get it to him. I get sacked for nine yards. This will be third and 14. This Clemens dude is a monster. Arby's wide open. Cooper grabs it and he hangs on. You don't usually catch passes, but that was amazing. Oh, Clemens. Y'all gotta block that man. Oh, get it to far, and it's incomplete. At least it wasn't a turnover. We can still get three points. Baychild doesn't miss. 
Oh, come on, Caldwell. Oh, you were almost there. That's a good, good play, though. Oh, Simpson gets back there, and he stops him before he can get anywhere. And at the end of the first, number six Texas A&M is only up seven against UTEP, 10-3. to three. I think we all knew he was going to throw it to him, didn't we? Oh, we get burned again. Holmes out here getting burned. We're hit by night. It just all went flying. And we're going to get this. Bruh. What? How did we not get that sack? This game, dude. We should have had the sack. How did we not? Good throw, good grab. A. Thompson grabs it. What a great grab by Thompson. Thompson again. Why haven't we been using Thompson much? Yep, we're going to do it because he's wide open. And Hankins finds a hole and he gets into the end zone. What a drive by our offense. Our offense is growing before our eyes. It's a screen. James gets there and he can't get the tackle, but he stops him enough for Forster to get him. Oh, Prince gets burned. Man, our DBs are just getting burned today. Oh, we read the run perfectly. I think Knight gets in there and stops him before he gets anything. And he's going to get a touchdown. Oh, boy, this is rough. He's wide open. Far grabs it. What a good block by Garrett, and we get out of bounds. Ten first downs in the first half. Get it to him. Oh, Thompson drops it, and it's almost picked. The reliable Thompson drops it that time. X is wide open. Cooper grabs it, and if he would have thrown a better pass, that would have been a touchdown, but 20 yards is better than nothing. I hand it to Hankins, and Hankins breaks a couple ankles and gets four. McKee can't get in there. We're going to call a timeout. 34 seconds left. We have to go for this. We're down 14. And Hankins is going to walk right in. Good call by the coach to go for it on fourth down. So we're only down seven and a half. See? Oh, and he breaks the tackle. So, oh, we, <laughs> we got lucky that he got tripped up because he was going to be gone. Oh, and we're going to get the sack with Simpson. You're going to have to call a timeout. They get into field goal range with a first and ten. Yeah, five seconds, so I think we can hold them unless they call a timeout. Nope. They want the touchdown, and it's not going to work, and they don't get any points before half. What a stupid call by Texas A&M. At halftime, number six Texas A&M is up 24-17. I think we can do this. Oh, good stop by Holmes and Prince. Oh, Bruh. my gosh. What? Nope. He doesn't go down. Okay. Thank you. I saw that coming. Knight gets there, destroys him, and then Prince gets the tackle for a loss. It's a screen, and nobody's there to cover it, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. Thompson's open, and what a bad throw. Cooper breaks a good route, and if he would have thrown a better pass, he could have been gone. RB's wide open. If we can get it, and Cooper drops it. Cooper, he made great plays earlier and just drops a beautiful pass. We're not going to win the game by punting. We can't be scared. We got to do something. Okay. Not that. But that's okay. It's a screen button. He doesn't throw it and Simpson destroys him. Oh, it's another screen. Let's see if we can blow it up. And James gets it.
Come on, Cowwing. Why was it so underthrown? We've been good at stopping the run. The only problem is that we can't stop the pass. Rousseau gets him in the backfield. Good step up. Now what in the world? I'll take it. Oh, Holmes, you almost had the pick, but hey, you didn't let him catch it this time, so that's all that matters, man. All right, we keep getting chances. If we would have scored on both of those drives, we would be in a good spot. And we're going to get the first down and more. Get it to Thompson. Good grab, Thompson. Deep. Boy! Okay, never mind. And at the end of the third quarter, 38-17 Texas A&M up. I don't think we can come back, but we sure can try. Oh, now Thompson's out. All right, oh my God. That would have been a first down, but nope. Our quarterback doesn't know how to throw even when he's standing still. And now they're just going to give up too. Oh, good tackle by Caldwell. The thing that irritates me is that our defense has done so good, and if we would have scored a touchdown on each time we had the ball, it would be tied right now. Turn around, Caldwell. <laughs> Holmes gets trucked, but hey, still gets the tackle. And it's up, and it's good. He's wide open. Let's see if we can get to him. Fryer grabs it. Good block by Garrett. We got a... Oh, man. The linebacker just puts his hands out, and it fits right into his hands. He didn't even have to look. Ooh, what a tackle by James. <laughs> James just keeps tripping this dude up. Yeah, it worked. Good tackle by Forrester. I know that they're going to snap it at two seconds, so might as well just hit him. Oh, they didn't do it this time, but we still stop him without getting a touchdown. Van Hook coming in to clean up that tackle. Isaiah Spiller will not get a touchdown against us. Okay. We're not even going to give you a chance. It's okay. All right. Let's hope they don't block this. Oh, they got close. That's a penalty, right? That's got to be a penalty. How is that not a penalty? He ran right into his leg. Good tackle, Forrester. Keep making their quote-unquote best player look stupid. And thankfully, that's going to end the game. Final score, Texas A&M 44, UTEP 17. I'm proud of how we played. Uh, there's some game mechanics that happened in the game that made it hard to overcome, but we also made some mental mistakes as well. But hey, we did a lot better against them than we did against any other ranked opponents. So that's a positive. Look at the player stats. Hardison had a rough day. 15 completions off of his 35 attempts. He did throw for 289 yards. We look at rushing. We have absolutely nothing. Hakins had 13 attempts for 29 yards and two touchdowns, while Hardison had nine attempts for 31 yards. And for receiving, Thompson had six receptions for 106 yards. I think we're going to have to utilize him a lot more. Cooper had 3 for 61, Fryer had 2 for 51, Garrett 2 for 20, Farr 1 for 36, and Cowing 1 for 5. And blocking our right tackle, our right, okay, I guess two of our right tackles gave up one sack, and our left tackle gave up one sack as well. We look at defense, it was a good game for Tyreek James. 10 solo tackles, 2 assist tackles. Caldwell also had seven solo tackles, one assist tackle, and one tackle for loss. Knight had five solo, one assist, three tackle for loss. Simpson, five solo tackles, three tackle for loss, and two sacks. Forster had five and three tackle for a loss. Holmes had two, one assist tackle, and one tackle for a loss. Look at the team stats. It was a really close game. Um, 17 first downs for both. They had 491 total yards of offense. We had 349. But again, the reason why we lose, we had five turnovers to their zero. UTEP continues to struggle, losing 44-17 to Texas A&M. You darn right we are. Your coaching assistants are reviewing the game tapes. Let's not lose like that again. Well, that was one of our better losses. What are you talking about? In the next episode, we're going to be playing North Texas. This looks like it's not going to be that good of a game. It looks like we can... Uh, probably get close but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i cannot wait to see you in the next one peace
with the pick. What a great play. Those are the 